Are you looking for ways to make your under eye look brighter and more youthful? Well, I've got three great ideas for you right here. Since I recently turned 50, I thought it'd be really kind of a fun thing to talk about our under eyes. Our under eyes are changing as we get older. You know, we just are getting crepier, getting little lines. Some of us are getting crow's feet. So, I don't know, I kind of have changed up a little bit what I do under my eyes. I used to just pull a concealer, whatever, and I'd be done with it. But I've really gotten into eye brighteners over the last few years. And I thought I'd share a few of my favorites with you that I've been using, seriously. Well, other than one of them, I've only been using since like January. <laughs> um, but the others I've been using for probably about three or four years. So I'm going to start out with my latest find, which is by Senna Cosmetics. And it came out, it's the HD Eye Lift. This is number one. I believe there's a number one and a number two. Uh, and it looks like this. And it just looks kind of like a bit of a, you know, off whitey light yellow kind of a uh, powder. Uh, let me go ahead and I'll, I'll swatch this on my hand for you. Um, so there, a bunch of it on my hand in white. And basically all you do is after you use your foundation and your concealer, I just go ahead and take a brush. Uh, I have one right here. Um, this just happens to be the Wayne Goss, I believe it's the airbrush brush. And I just will go ahead and, you know, put it in there like that. And oh, by the way, this does have a little mirror, so it's a nice compact. It feels like quality, kind of a hard plastic quality. And if you don't know Senna Cosmetics, they're really known for their uh, eyebrow studios in Los Angeles. Uh, Eugenia Weston, who's a world famous uh, makeup artist, started them, and she's fabulous. I was down there actually getting my brows done, and she just, when we were done, put this under my eyes, and I was like, wow, what is this? And I, I purchased it. So I did, I bought this myself. And then basically, I just go ahead and we'll go under my eyes like this. And that's it. And it does have a bit of a sheen to it. I already, I already have this on, so I might look uh, a little bit much under my eyes. Although, you know, looking at this in my mirror, I think that it's actually not too much. And I've got it like probably triple thick because I, I used quite a bit of it, you know, because I was going to be filming. <laughs> <laughs> in real life, I just use a little light bit and it's perfect. And I don't think it makes you look shiny or weird or anything. And to me, it does not accentuate anything, which is the beauty of it. And it's a powder because the baking and stuff just, I don't know, doesn't work super well for me. Once in a while, I'll do it. But, um, you know, you always have that chance of getting a little too cakey looking. So absolutely love this stuff. It's very affordable. I believe it's around $20. I'll put the exact price below. So highly recommend this. The other thing that I really like is the Touche Eclat. Uh, this is a with Radiant uh, Touch. And uh, there are, and this is yet, yeah, this is number two. Uh, there's several different flavors of this basically in terms of color. It's a little pen. This is very well used, as you can see. I'll go ahead and I'll just strike this next to the other, the Santa Cosmetics. So it's a cream. And then when you, you know, rub it in, it just gives a very nice kind of a, a little bit of coverage and a highlight. It's really not a concealer though, but it's fantastic to keep in your purse. I have one at my makeup station and I have one in my purse at all times because I just love it. One time my husband was like, you know, how are you doing that? That's not fair. Cause I just went boop, boop. And he's like, you look, you know, much less tired than you did a minute ago. I'm like, yeah, you know, so this is wonderful too. And I've seen it at Costco online too. So they had it uh, down to, I think like $27.99 or something on their online beauty department. So you can also get it sometimes. The last one I picked up, I got in a Sephora kit. And I think I paid $40 for the kit. I think these are like $37, $36, something like that. I'll, I'll put the prices below um, normally. And so it was kind of like I got all that other stuff for about what I would have paid for just one of these. And they last a very, very long time. So, um, you know, not drugstore, not cheap. But for me, at this point, it's, it's worth having the good finish. And you know, with that one also, I don't have to put powder over it or anything else. If I use that as the final touch, I can leave it. Same thing with this one. This is by La Prairie. Um, I don't really own anything else by La Prairie. I have this though because I was getting my makeup done years ago at Nordstrom for a special event. And um, the girl used this under my eye. She was actually from Chanel. And she went and grabbed this and I was like, oh my God, what did you just put under my eyes? And I really liked it. It is more pricey, but it does come with two cartridges. So it kind of lasts forever. Uh, it's, uh, you know, again, another kind of a push button pen thing here until I've pretty much worn this one out within an inch of its life. Um, then it, you know, kind of comes up just like in the other one. Let me be careful here to not run it into the other products. Um, oh, here, let me just, before I blend it out too much, it's this one here. So that was the Senna. That was the uh, YSL Touche Clot, and then this is the La Prairie. 
And let me just buff this one out a little bit more. All right, there we go. So um, you, know, you can kind of see the difference. There's a bit more concealer to this, and I believe this also has, uh, I think I their caviar complex in it. I forgot, it's been so long since I have actually had to repurchase because it had the extra cartridge on my second cartridge. Uh, so again, this one is more pricey. Uh, I don't think, I'm just, you know, looking at these now just kind of on my hand, I don't think that, you know, I would say, one of these is hugely better than the other. You'll just have to go swatch them, try them out, you know, yourself and see. Um, but, you know, really, I think that this does a fabulous job, too. Uh, in fact, if you wanted to, you could, you know, use one of these and swipe a little of this on top to just keep holding things down. But, but neither of these actually need anything on top unless you want. So, hope you'll enjoy, you know, trying these out or at least doing a few options to get our, our under eyes looking a little bit brighter and happier on those days when we're looking tired. Which, unfortunately, as we get older, we just kind of do look more tired than we probably really are. I think that these products are actually good for anyone of any age, but I kind of wanted to call it out to those of us in the uh, over 40 group because I think we have a few more needs under the eyes than the younger set may have. And if you're younger, just know these wonderful things are out there for when you're older if you don't even need them yet. Hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you so much for watching. You're beautiful at any age. Have a great day or evening wherever you are. Are you looking for ways to look less tired and brighten up your underarm? Underarm? Ha! <laughs> yes, let's put this under our arms.